Boom shakalaka, Bitcoin is about to leave the station. Shocking similarities with these pumps in 2019 and 2020. And the one level you need to keep an eye on to make sure this isn't a fake out. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we are taking a look at a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including why Bitcoin is about to blast off and the one critical levels to keep your eyes on. Before we get into it, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Come join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Push that like button. Now, today, fear at 30 out of the 20s for the first time in a month. The overall market blasting off today up 4%. Bitcoin at 18137 Ethereum at 13.98, BNB at 2.85, XRP 37 cents, Cardano 32 cents, Dogecoin 7 cents, and Polygon 88 cents. Now Bitcoin has blasted off since it broke out of this white dotted wedge that we were talking about last week. Has gone up from 16.8 all the way up to about 18.4. It has broken through the 20, the 50, the 100 day moving averages right here, and actually right now is on the top of this box that we were talking about yesterday that pretty much determines if Bitcoin is going sideways or if we are actually going to see some positive or negative price movement. Right now, still at that box, but you can see Bitcoin printing here a nice double bottom structure. If it can break the confirmation point right at about the prices we are at right now, there's a 97% chance we are in for some pretty solid gains, 40% gains for Bitcoin. That would push it out of this larger wedge that Bitcoin has been in, could push price above $20,000. Previous all-time highs right now could be resistance for Bitcoin. But that being said, right now, large trader call buying, historically low levels. Call buying is people betting on the, price, on the market going up. It's at historically low levels, meaning that large traders are not betting on the market going up, betting on further upside in the market at historically low levels. Either consensus is going to be right or markets have some more upside. We can see that every other time it was at these historic levels, these were local lows in the market rallies following them almost in every case that we have seen. Right now we're seeing strong hands to continue to hold Bitcoin. This is the percent supply last active five plus years ago, 30 day moving average on a sharp rise, only a matter of time before price follows. The last time that we saw a sharp rise like this was pretty much towards the bottom of 2019 before we saw a much needed rally from $3,000 to $70,000. As a matter of fact, right now, the realized profit loss ratio for Bitcoin on a 30 day moving average is worse than other previous crypto bear markets. It's at its lowest level ever. We can see this down here, lower than we saw in 2019, lower than we saw in 2015, the lowest level ever for Bitcoin. But it could be about to get better. Bitcoin is about to leave the station. Last time USDT dominance, which is here in blue, had a bearish RSI divergence on the monthly time frame. It resulted in a Bitcoin rally. Are you on board. So we can see USDT dominance here in blue uh, going up. We can see RSI going down. Last time we had this bearish divergence, look at that. Bitcoin price rallied again from roughly $3,000 to $70,000. Right now we're seeing the same thing. USDT dominance going up, RSI going down. Bearish divergence could send Bitcoin. This could just be the very beginning of something to come. As we're seeing here on the two-month TF Stochastic RSI, it's told us historically when to buy and when to sell Bitcoin. When we had these bearish crosses, this was the time to sell. The bullish crosses are the time to buy. We have a bullish cross right now. Currently looks like it's telling us to buy. What is your take? I'll tell you what my take is. Actually, I told you last week I bought some crypto last week because everything was looking pretty darn pessimistic. And all charts were looking pretty darn decent, but still could be wrong, still could crash. This could just be a little pump before the dump. Now, if you hang on until the end, we'll show you exactly what levels to keep an eye out for. But right now, it looks like Bitcoin fractals in 2023 versus 2020 versus 2019. We have a D1 chart symmetrical triangle breakout. Historically, in 2019, had a symmetrical triangle breakout to the upside. Symmetrical triangle breakout to the upside. Could once again have a symmetrical triangle breakout to the upside, we're already outside of it, could potentially send us much, much higher. It looks like the bear markdown phase is over. According to Bitcoin halving dates, 
Bitcoin moves in similar patterns. We could easily define the pattern into markup, markdown, and resume phases or resume if it has a little tilde over the E. But note the markup and markdown phases spent 29 months after halving. We can see 29 months for markup and markdown, the green and the red phase. 29 months. Mark up, mark down. 29 months. Mark up, mark down. That would put us right now in the resume phase where the price slowly starts going up before we have the massive markup phase. So we could be in that phase where we have a limited number of time, another year in some, before we really start to see Bitcoin parabolic rally. This indicator here, the drawdown indicator, is a measure to estimate historical risk has been strikingly accurate in measuring the bottom area. So even if we are not the absolute bottom, this indicator is saying we're pretty darn close. When we have a negative 0.68 drawdown on this drawdown ratio, this has historically been great areas for buying Bitcoin. We're at the same levels we were in 2015 and 2018 at the bottom of this bearish trend. We could be at the same spot at the bottom of the bearish trend before the takeoff. But if you're thinking about buying Bitcoin, and this is not financial advice for anybody, but one thing you may want to keep in mind could be a fake out. Could always be a fake out. Could go lower. Who knows what the Fed will do. Could crash the entire market. So one level you want to keep an eye on to give you an idea if this is a real rally or if we are to see lower lows is this right here, a pump to the 0.5 Fib. We can see previous cycles in Bitcoin, the pumping to the 0.5 Fib will be the most clear evidence that Bitcoin will not print another low. So we can see in each of these cycles within the parabolic trend upwards, there was a little cup. Bitcoin went down the cup and then went back up to the 0.5 Fib. Once it broke that 0.5 Fib, it was never coming back to those levels again. Once it broke the 0.5 Fib, never coming back to those levels again. Broke the 0.5 Fib, never coming back to those levels again. So right now, that would be the clearest indicator that this isn't a fake out and prices aren't going lower if we were to break the 0.5 Fib. And you're like, Randall, where is this 0.5 Fib? Well, it is at $33,396 and 48 cents. So if you want to know, if you want the safest bet, that might be it. But like I said myself, things were looking so pessimistic last week, I bought some more Bitcoin and crypto. So that's all for today's video. If you did enjoy it, push that like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. <laughs>